Well, hello, SNHU 107 students, and welcome to the official very first week of your SNHU 107 course. I am Melanie Shop, your SNHU 107 Learning Community Gal, and I'm here to walk you through and guide you through your very first week here in your SNHU 107 class. First and foremost, your experience here at Southern New Hampshire University is very important to us. It is our policy and practice to create an inclusive and accessible learning environment. If there are any aspects of instruction or course design that present barriers to accessibility, please notify the Online Accessibility Center, the OAC, as soon as possible at 866-305-9430. You can also email them at oac at snhu.edu or visit the Online Accessibility Center website. The Online Accessibility Center team department here at the university is here to help you get content in a way that works best for you. This could be information from your courses. This could be content from webinars like this or other webinars from different departments. If you have questions about this, think this is something that might suit you and your learning style, please reach out to the OAC as soon as possible. A couple of housekeeping reminders. This term here in SNHU 107, you will have webinars every single week of the term. These webinars help guide you through your course content and assignments, showing you where to click, how to find things, and give you examples and ideas of what to do and tips for your success here in your SNHU 107 course. We do have webinar formats that are live, but we also have on-demanded or pre-recorded. The majority of your webinars for SNHU 107 are on-demand or pre-recorded, and they're available every Monday in the First Year Experience YouTube page underneath SNHU 107. If we do have any live sessions, you will be notified of that via your SNHU email and also your course announcements. Please, as a top tip, always remember to be checking your course announcements no matter what class you're taking, and also make sure you're always checking that university email, okay? Um, the other thing is, is that this is an academic space, so always be mindful of your conduct here in the learning communities, in SNHU Connect, the First Year Experience page, and of course your classrooms. As a reminder, these webinars are not mandatory and they are not graded, okay? These webinars are here to support your success just as extra support as you navigate from week to week in your SNHU 107 term. So if you have not um, gotten to know a little bit about me, this is me, I am Melanie Shop, and I am an SNHU 107 adjunct faculty member. I also teach another course here at the university called IDS 105. I teach in the classroom space. I oversee the SNHU 107 and IDS 105 learning communities, but I'm also an academic partner. So that means that I get to work with all of your faculty here at the university and first year experience students just like yourself. One thing I do want to point out is while I do teach a section of SNHU 107, I will not be the instructor for all of you. To find out who your instructor is, you wanna to go to your Brightspace classroom, that learn.snhu.edu, and you will be able to see your instructor and learn a little bit about them and how to get a hold of them. You'll get to see usually a picture about them or like their hobbies and interests. It's really a cool space, so make sure you guys check that out. Fun facts about me, I like to share some fun facts about me so you get to know me a little bit behind this screen. I love the water. Um, I actually live just outside of Pensacola Beach, Florida. Um, I moved here from the Midwest almost eight years ago, and now I think I'm a part-time mermaid. Um, I love the beach. I love the pool, river, lake. It really doesn't matter. I absolutely love being near the water. It's so calming and just so refreshing and beautiful, too. Um, I also am an avid road bike cyclist. I love reading, so if you have any recommendations of good books, I read all across the genres um, of books. I'd love to hear them. I love coffee um, with lots of creamer, <laughs> and I love spending time with my friends and family. The biggest thing I want you to take away from this, though, is that I am here as a resource for you. In these webinars and the things that I post in SNHU Connect and the SNHU 107 Learning Community, they're just here for your success. Reminders, tips for success, maybe sometimes a little bit of extra motivation just to help you be your best student and do really well here on your academic journey at SNHU. So a lot of students will sometimes be like, what is this SNHU 107 learning community? Like, why should I watch these webinars? Why should I pop in there and SNHU connect? I'm really busy. <laughs> I get it. There's a lot of things that are going to come at you. A lot of new places to navigate, names, terms, all that kind of fun stuff as you get started here at the university. The learning community for SNHU 107 is a dedicated space outside of your classroom environment. So nothing's graded in there, like I mentioned. It's a space where you can navigate um, and see other clubs or organizations in SNHU Connect, but the SNHU 107 learning community itself, I will post the reminders for any live webinar sessions. I will post the recording links, the webinar recording links for any on-demand or live sessions that we held 
Um, I give some tips for success as you begin to work on assignments. I post some just-in-time resources called focus videos. Those are kind of quick, about five minutes or less videos that walk you through a specific assignment or talk about a specific concept that you're covering in your SNOW 07 class. There's just a lot of support in there. Plus, I put some motivational and some fun things in there. And what does all of this equal? It equals your success. So sometimes we just want to have somebody show us where to click or how to find something. Or maybe you just need kind of like walked through a concept or walked through an assignment. That is what is happening here in the SNHU 107 learning community. So today, we're going to talk about all things for your very first week. We're going to walk through today in the webinar the actual classroom space. I will do that at the end of this session so you can kind of see where to click and get a lay for the land. But what we're going to cover today is making sure you know how to access your um, class, how you how to purchase that ebook and get connected. You should have gotten an email sent to your SNHU university email. Always be checking that, y'all. Always be checking the university email. That's how we communicate with you. Don't miss out on things in there. We're also going to be going through the week one discussion, the week one warm up. Those are your two assignments for this week. We're going to talk about resources or the people that can support you in your success here um, at SNHU. Plus, we're going to talk about the and get let you get to know the SNHU financial aid literacy team, how to find the webinar recordings, and just a reminder of enjoying yourself. Because I don't know about you, but how many of you have been out of school for a long time? And this is your first time back in a long time. Uh, maybe you've never been to school before. Maybe you're the, you're the first in your family to go to school. Maybe you've always wanted a degree and it just never worked out. So like now this is the time. Maybe you're um, showing kids or family members or loved ones like what hard work looks like. Maybe you're trying to get a promotion in your current job. No matter what it is, we're so glad that you are here. And starting school comes with a lot of different emotions. So as I go through today's content, like take a deep breath and just pay attention and listen because you can always go back and watch this recording as many times as you need to for your success. Um, but just know that we are here for you and we want you to reach out to us if you have any questions or need anything. So first and foremost, where is your assignments and your syllabus and all of the things that you're gonna need to know about your course located? That's in what's called Brightspace. That is the www.learn.snhu.edu website. Top tip, a lot of students like to save it um, and bookmark it, and they use that as like the first thing they log into when their computers turn on. Kind of a fun tip right there that came from some current students. Once you get into your Brightspace course, you will notice at the very top, there's kind of like this course. There's a title, a bunch of different titles across it. You'll see course menu is one of them. If you click on course menu, click the blue, get to where you want to go, you'll be able to find quick links for your announcements, the learning modules. The learning modules are where you'll find like what's due module one, week one, module two, week two and so on all the way through week eight, you'll be able to find a quick link for discussions, assignments, and then you'll always be able to click on your grades and see how you're doing throughout the term. So one of the biggest thing is, is you do have an electronic textbook for SNHU 107, okay? You wanna make sure that you actually purchase that electronic textbook and you get connected. I always get asked, is there like a hard copy or like a paper version of this book? Sometimes there is a loose leaf paper version available in the SNHU bookstore. However, I will tell you that most students who purchase it, they also get the electronic one and they end up not even utilizing the hard copy that they bought. So it's up to you. If you got the extra cash, want to spend it, go for it. But just know that the chapters can be a little bit different in that loose leaf paper version if it is even available. Sometimes it's not even in the bookstore, but I always get that question. So I want to make sure that I talked about it. I know that if you're new to school and new to like electronic textbooks, you're like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? Don't panic. If you're stuck, you're not sure on something, it's too overwhelming, reach out to your advisor and they can help walk you through it. But I'm going to tell you that it's really not that complicated. But sometimes we just need somebody to step by step walk us through it. So reach out to your advisor. You can find the University Bookstore by going into Brightspace. And at the very top, you will see across the screen, you'll see this help arrow. Click on it to arrow down and you'll click on online student services and it's going to pull up all the departments, universities on one page for you, for easy access, convenient to click on. The bookstore is at the very top. You click on the bookstore, you're gonna put in that you're an online student, the class that you're taking, and it's gonna guide you to the course materials for any of your classes that you might be um, taking. You'll add them to your cart and your checkout just like you did on Amazon, okay? If you have any questions about like financial aid stuff, you need to work with financial services directly, all right? Reach out to them, give them a call, give them an email if you have questions on that. Or if you're just stuck and not sure how to walk through getting everything connected, get with your advisor, like I mentioned. Once you purchase your materials, you will get an email for how to get all set up with your Vital Source bookshelf and how to get all connected. It's literally step by step, but it's also underneath the Start Here menu of your classroom, which I will show you when we do the classroom walkthrough. Okay. Um, this week on deck for your assignments, you have a discussion and a warm up. Okay. 
The discussion assignment, there's two ways you can find your discussion assignments in your class. I will show you this too when I do the course walkthrough, but just so you know, you can go into your classroom space, click on learning modules, discussion, or right when you get in there, you'll see discussions. You can click directly there, okay? This week, you are introducing yourself to the class by sharing a little bit about yourself. So share what you're comfortable with. Examples, hi, I'm Melanie. I am here getting a bachelor's degree in communications because I want to um, be a radio DJ. Um, this, I'm a mom, I'm a wife to two busy boys. I live out um, just outside of Pensacola Beach, Florida. I'm just really excited to earn my degree and start my radio DJ career. That's an example, okay? That's just a little bit about like who you are, what you're doing here at SNHU. It's really nice to get to know other classmates because you might find you have a lot, of co lot in common or you might be all totally different, which is really awesome too. So that's the first thing you're gonna do. The second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna answer these next set of questions. Always make sure that you cover all of the components in the initial post that you are writing, okay? Because you'll notice that some questions might have multiple pieces to them. So after you introduce yourself and share a little bit about you, you want to explain what you think it takes, it means to take ownership of personal success during this course. Question three, discuss this week's resources on taking ownership. Consider the following as you write your responses. So as you review your course material, look through your required resources section, read your reading, learn a little bit about the concepts this week, you wanna come back and then answer these questions. So one of them is how did they help you define the concept of taking ownership? And then how do they support what you might've already knew about taking ownership? And then C, identify some examples of how you apply ownership to your own academic journey. So that third question has a couple of parts you wanna make sure you're answering. Last one is your why, like discuss your why. Why are you here at SNHU? What is motivating you? What is driving you? Maybe share your academic or career goals. And if you're not sure exactly what career you wanna do or even what major, maybe you're still like undecided, that is okay, share that, all right? So with your discussion assignments, when you have these assigned from week to week, it is very important to remember Thursdays and Sundays. Your initial post, which is where you answer whatever questions are posed for the assignment, those initial posts are always due that week by Thursday. Thursday, 11.59 p.m. Your very first week, so this week, it's due East Coast time. So make sure you pay attention to the time zones, okay? Then you wanna follow up and respond to at least two of your classmates by Sundays of that week that the discussion assignment is assigned, okay? So Thursday initial post is due, by Sunday it respond to at least two of your classmates, 11.59 p.m. If you wanna respond to more than two classmates, that's fine. Just make sure that you have two classmates that you respond to and it's a substantial response. A couple of sentences isn't gonna cut it, all right? Work to get to know your classmates, ask them some questions about themselves. There's a whole focus video on discussion assignments too. And just know Thursdays is when your initial posts are due. Sundays you need to have those peer responses submitted. If you wanna do them earlier in the week, do what works best for you and what is convenient for your schedule, okay? Um, the next thing is you have what is called a warm up. So a warm up is really like an open book quiz. Okay, y'all, don't let the word quiz scare you. What you want to make sure you do, what I tell students is you can find this underneath module one. Make sure that you view your syllabus. You can find that underneath the start here, area of the classroom. Read your reading for this week and then take the warm up. You get multiple attempts because as soon as you submit it, it's auto graded. So you can go back to the grade center and see like, okay, what did I get on that? And if you want to retake it, you do it the exact same way that you did it the first time. What I caution you is, is don't just dive in and take it because <laughs> you might not do very hot. And then that kind of is like disheartening. So read the material, go through your module, then hop in there and take that warm up quiz, okay? Um, as a reminder, you have a lot of people in support here supporting your success at SNHU. If you have questions on like how to get your books um, purchased, how to um, get them downloaded and connected, or anything that is about your like course schedule, reach out to your advisor. They're so happy to support you and get back to you. If you have questions about actual assignments or things within the classroom, get with your instructor. Please don't be afraid to reach out to us. We want you to be successful. If you have anything that's technical, like something's not working right, or you're not able to access something or something's not showing up and it's a technical thing, you wanna reach out to the SNHU help desk. That'll be the best department to help support you and get you the answers that you need. 
maybe you're new to academic writing or you've never had to write academically or you're worried about kind of like your writing mechanics or you're not sure of how to get started. Y'all, we have the most amazing academic support team. They have workshops, they have webinars, they have tutoring options, they have a feature called um, written feedback, which you can submit your writing assignments, even like your discussions, and they give you some guidance on if it like is meeting the topic and kind of the overview of how it looks. So those are just some, some departments to support your support your success. Also, in SNHU 107, most of your classes here at the university, when you turn in your assignments, you need to be working with Microsoft Word or something compatible. Um, SNHU 107 has some templates, which are basically Word documents that you open up and are able to type right in them for some of your assignments. So it's really important that you have Office 365 or you have Microsoft Word or something compatible so you can download those templates utilize them and then upload them for your assignment submissions. You get Office 365 for free as an SNHU student. And I'll show you when I do the course tour, tour how you can find that, okay? Um, before I dive into kind of showing you through the course tour, I wanted to introduce you to one of our most amazing resources here at the university, another amazing resource, I should say, the SNHU Financial Literacy Team. This team is here to help students really understand their own personal finances and like money management skills. They offer virtual and phone appointments. They do a lot of presentations and webinars. Plus they have this amazing online platform card called SNHU iGrad. This is a great way if you are maybe cutting back on some hours to add school to your schedule and you're trying to figure out a budget, maybe you're trying to save or pay off some debt, or you're kind of trying to manage like any student loan management or repayment, whatever it might be. This team of department, they, they are different than financial aid. They are not financial aid. They're really just kind of a personal money resource for you to kind of bounce some ideas off and learn some things about your own personal finances. Students that have worked with them are really appreciative because they helped them maybe like pay some things off with getting them on a budget or teaching them how to save. Um, so their phone number and email address is here. I encourage you to reach out to them if this is something that you might be interested in or at least explore the SNHU iGrad. Um, lit the financial literacy platform. It's an amazing space and students always really enjoy it. Um, as a reminder, how to access these SNHU 107 webinars. If you get into SNHU Connect underneath um, the SNHU 107 learning community, I always post upcoming reminders if anything is live and those sessions are also always recorded and the webinar links are always shared, but I will put webinar links and videos in there. But this is on your screen. You'll see this link. Um, for the learning community webinars for SUMA 07 and the focus videos. And then again, if there's ever a live session, check your university email because we send out those links um, into your university email. So just remember, if you need help, you're stuck on something, this is what the webinars are here for, but also reach out to those departments and the people that are here for your success. One last thing before I do the classroom tour. Um, I want to remind you guys how to access that SNHU 107 learning community. It is within what's called SNHU Connect. Okay, everybody, that is outside your classroom space. You have to have a separate login. It's called a Pulse login. You do not get that login created until about seven to 10 days after you registered for classes. So if you've been trying to get in there and it's not working, but you just recently registered, like don't stress, it'll be created. If it's not created after that time frame, then reach out to SNHU Connect at um, SNHU.edu and they'll reach out to you and look into your account. OK, so I just wanted to make sure that you guys um, knew that. So before I do the classroom tour, in case you want to hop off because um, you already know maybe what you're doing, I want to remind you all that this is your journey. OK, your success is loading. I love this quote by Art Williams. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. I'm telling you it's going to be absolutely so worth it. So maximize your experience here at the university. Utilize and connect to the resources that we have here for your success. Ask questions if you're stuck or you're not sure on something and just know that we're really excited that you've chosen SNHU to begin or continue your academic journey. So classroom tour. This is learn.snhu.edu. Um, and this is a classroom space that's new 107. This is actually my classroom space. So when you log into your classroom space, one of the first things you'll see is who your instructor is. So you'll notice there's a photo of me. Um, and underneath the my instructor announcement, they will also have um, kind of other biography, a little bit about them, how to get a hold of them, um, and anything else that you might need to know about them. 
What I wanted to point out in here is it's so important to always go through the course menu. If you click on announcements, it takes you to the announcements for the entire term. It'll always show you the most recent ones when you first log in, but you can always go back and scroll through things if you wanna look at past ones. If you click on learning modules, that's where you're gonna find your week by week assignments um, and things that are due. I will come back to that. Right here is a quick link to the discussion board, quick link to any assignments that are not discussions, and then you have this grades button. When you click on grades, it pulls up all the assignments that you have for the term. And as your instructors grade them, it'll show you how you're doing and it'll give you feedback. So always be checking that. One of the things I wanted to point out um, up here too is you have this quick access to the Shapiro library. When you click that little down or arrow, you'll see the library homepage. There's also a kind of like a ton of frequently asked research questions in here, how to cite your sources in case you need to do that. Um, students find this area really helpful. I mentioned that we have the academic support team. If you click on them, it'll pull up their whole menu of services. You'll notice that there's 24 seven drop in tutoring. It connects at your convenience. Um, written feedback is what is really popular for a lot of students. It's a place where you can upload and submit your drafts and assignments for written feedback, and you can select the most important areas for your tutor to focus on. And they'll focus it on that feedback and give that to you within 12 hours, which is really pretty exciting. Plus, they have a ton of different live workshops and sessions you can join. They even have some specific one on one peer tutoring and they have some academic question or academic coaching. Plus, if you have some more questions, you can always um, kind of check out this area, too. So there's a whole lot that they offer, and I know it can be kind of overwhelming to have all this stuff come at you. But we want you to know that there's just a lot of resources at your fingertips, so don't hesitate to reach out. Underneath this help button, click the blue, it's where you want to go. Click the down arrow. Quick link to the IT, the SNHU help desk, okay, if there's anything technical you're struggling with. Um, also, I wanted to point out these student tutorial videos. If you click on that, it loads this YouTube page and it walks you through discussion boards, how to find your feedback and grades, the SNHU learning environment, assignment instructions and submission. There's a ton of videos here for you to kind of peruse and just really get to know um, your space. But the other thing I wanted to point out is if you click on this online student services, it pulls up all the departments that are here at the university. So you'll notice there's the bookstore, like I mentioned earlier, click the blue, gets you to where you want to go. Quick link to academic advising. Um, also, you will see in here another link for academic support. I do encourage students, if you haven't already, take this virtual tour of the SNH, take a virtual tour of my SNHU. It's really helpful to show you like how to navigate commonly used features um, here at the university. All kinds of things are in there. So click around. It's just a click away for your success. You can feel more, more comfortable. That Office 365 and other software, this is where you want to click on this link. Again, click the blue, gets to where you want to go. And you can click through Office 365 and it'll walk you through how to download that to your computer. All right. Another quick access link is that SNHU Connect. If you click on SNHU Connect, um, it will bring you into um, the learning community and you can log into there. But remember, it takes about seven to 10 days for your account to be activated. So a couple of other things I want to point out underneath course menu, you click on learning modules and you click on start here. That is where you will see a copy of your syllabus. So you can review that. It has like classroom policies and overview of everything that's due from week to week, some helpful resources on there. Plus underneath required materials is another space where it walks you through what your book is, how to get it purchased, how to get everything linked to your vital source bookshelf. So make sure that you're kind of going through um, all of this content that's in here. It's really important. You don't wanna miss something. I also want to point out if you want to get a quick access to SNHU Connect, click on Learning Community. It's going to pull up like what the learning community is. Click the blue, gets to where you want to go, um, and it pulls up a, a little video of how to log in so you guys know. But when you click through it, it'll also pull up the actual community itself. So this is what it looks like. You'll see that students are in there posting. There's reminders and stuff that are happening. So I want to make sure I showed you that. Um, let's talk about what is specific to week one. So learning modules, when you click on that, you'll notice you have module one all the way through module eight, okay? Remember, week one is when you do all your week one assignments. So you only have those assignments that are due for week one, which is that discussion in the warm up, right? Next week in week two, you're gonna have different assignments to make sure they're completed within that week. Modules start on Monday and on Sunday, okay? So when you click on module one, it's gonna open up the um, introduction and kind of the overview. You wanna click on things, click the blue, gets where you wanna go. 
And then you want to make sure that you kind of scroll and review as you're going through things. OK, so as you scroll down, you want to arrow over. It'll give you kind of an overview. Then you're going to have this section of required resources. It's going to give you any helpful videos you need to watch. It'll go over any reading assignments that you might have. So make sure you're definitely watching these videos, clicking through them. And then there's a lot of helpful additional support that's down here too. And then you can arrow over. It'll bring you right to the discussion assignment. OK, so again, for your very first discussion assignment, we already went through the questions that you're answering. Remember, you're introducing yourself and then you're going to be sharing some thoughts on ownership and kind of your why behind why you're here at SNHU. What I wanted to point out is once you're ready to actually make create your post, you want to click on this start a new thread. Now, what I wanted to bring to your attention is some students have given me the tip that they like to actually write up their discussion post in like Microsoft Word so they can spell check it and then they'll copy and paste it over into the text box of the discussion forum and then they will post it and they'll save that Word document just in case there's any kind of technical snafu. They don't have to start all over. OK, so once you pull that up, you know, you enter your subject, you know, like. Melanie shop hello as an example, whatever you want to put and then you actually type right in here. Obviously spell check writing complete sentences. There is a little box where you can check mark that says subscribe to this thread. That is so you can easily see anybody that responds to your discussion post. Once your discussion post is all here, you will have all pieces and parts. You've spell checked it. You can click post. OK, once you do that, it looks like this in the forum. So for example, if you want to just double check that yours actually posted, just refresh it and then come back and you'll be able to see your post. Now, if you're looking to respond to classmates, again, like let's pretend that this is a classmate that has already written a post. You want to go ahead and click on the title. You'll see there it's in the blue again. Click the blue, gets where you want to go. Click on that. You pull it up. You'll be able to read whatever it is that they wrote. OK, and then you'll click on reply to thread and then you'll be able to reply to whatever they said. OK, again, spell check, write in complete sentences, make sure you're spelling things appropriately, capitalize the word I, click post. OK, so that is how you do the actual discussion assignment. All right. Now, the other thing that you have to do um, in module one, so that was a discussion, is that warm up, right? So you'll see that right here. You'll click on warm up. Yours will look just a little bit different because I'm an instructor. So you will see kind of a description and overview, and then you'll see like a begin quiz or start quiz. OK, once you do that, you'll be able to go and submit it. You'll be able to go into the grade section, see that assignment and see how you scored. If you didn't do very well, want to add some points, you just go back in just like you did the very first time. OK, so that is your assignments for module one. That is the resources that will support your success. You're ready, y'all. So the biggest thing is remember initial post due by Thursday this week, East Coast time, 1159 p.m. And then classmate responses and that warm up are due by Sunday, or you can turn them in earlier or before that as convenient for your schedule. OK, um, y'all, we're so excited to have you here. Um, thank you for watching this webinar and I'll see you next week in week two. You got this happy week one.